Oh, hi. I'm glad you made it. I'm here to show you how to check in your iPads during advisory. I happen to have an iPad here. It will be our sample check-in iPad. So, the first thing you want to do is have the student clean their iPad and make sure it's all set, ready to go. I would then check the student off on your Google Drive list under HS iPad Collection folder. You'll see all sorts of things that need to be done. Those can be done easily. And what I would do is just ask the student to show me that they have completed each of those steps. Just in case you're wondering about the asset tag, the asset tag is a sticker right on the back of the iPad. That's your asset tag. After all the steps are completed on your Google Drive check sheet, we would like you to do this. If you have a storage cabinet in your room, all you need to do is take the student's charger, cable, and charger, plug it right in to the back of the iPad, like such, and you can pop it right into the student's given slot. Don't worry about plugging the charger in at this point. Of course, you can if you want to. That's what you do if you have a charger. Box. Lock your box every day, and you're all set, ready to go. Now, if you don't have a box, it's the same procedure, except you'll be using one of our less secure boxes. If you don't have a cabinet in your room, you'll check your iPad in, make sure you plug the charger cable and charger into the student iPad, or have the student do it. That will let us know that whose iPad charger it is. I've also written the name on the ones I've collected, so I know for sure. Place it in the box, and either store the box in a secure location, or we'll come and pick it up for you. That's all there is to it. Thank you so much.